What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, welcome to the College of Hooker Knowledge. Today we got a great video. We're going to talk about the reality of the lives of the prostitutes in Zona Norte in Tijuana, Mexico, versus the illusion or the perception that you see out there. Guys, let me break this down. When you go to the Chicago Club, or you go to the Adelita Bar, or you go to the Hong Kong Club, you see these girls, they're hot, they're beautiful. They have confidence. You think, wow, she's making money. $100 customer, $100 customer, $100 customer. And you're thinking, wow, I mean, you're impressed, right? Guys, don't be impressed. Let me tell you about the reality of this whole situation today. First of all, let's start with the confidence part. A lot of these girls really don't have confidence. Most of these girls use drugs excessively, marijuana, alcohol, harder drugs such as cocaine, whatever it is and a lot of these girls suffer from depression okay that's first and foremost no matter what illusion they throw out there to you at the bar that's not always the case guys number two the beauty part of this deal yes these girls are hot and beautiful there's no doubt about that but guys you got to remember these girls are like cars in the very beginning a brand new car is beautiful it looks good it's fun to drive all of a sudden, it's got some dings in it, some dents in it. It's high mileage. It's not running good. Come on, guys. And it's not worth as much as it was when it was brand new. Their value goes down every day. Now, as far as the money part, guys, don't be fooled about these girls. They're flying up from Guadalajara, Mexico. They're flying up from Monterrey. They're flying up from Mexico City. And they're flying to Tijuana to sell their ass, okay? Okay. How many guys are they really with? Three, four, five guys a night? Ten guys per weekend? Do the math on that per year. Okay? So they're flying up. They're poor. And let me tell you about my experience with 17, 18 years in Zona Norte. These girls fly up. They have zero money. Okay? They work. They make some money. They go home. But here's the thing, guys. A fool and his money soon part ways. These girls never keep the money. The money's wasted, okay? Most of these girls are single moms. The money's wasted on birthday parties, quinceañeras, Christmas presents for mom and dad, a family that they're supporting. Most of these girls have no other real means of making money. No job skills. They're not teachers. They're not nurses. They're not doctors. They're pretty much nothing, okay? So, they fly back to Tijuana, they get money, they fly back to South Mexico and they waste money. Chanel sunglasses, Gucci handbags, okay? They're just wasting money right and left. And at the end of the day, they all have zero. Now, there are a few exceptions to the rule. I don't want to generalize and say that every girl who comes to Tijuana leaves after five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years scratching a broke ass, the same one that she flew to Tijuana setting on. The only difference is 10 years later, guys, that ass just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Or, you know, how many girls have you seen start out in the Adelita Bar, then they wind up over at the Chicago Club or Tropical, then they wind up at Gloria, then they wind up on the street? It's the same story, guys. So don't be impressed, okay? Don't get your feelings involved. Understand something about these girls. It, they're never your girls. It's only your turn, okay? Now, you're not going to ever lose your turn as long as you have money. You might lose your place in line. She might be upstairs with another customer. She might be down in Cabo San Lucas with another customer. But you're still in line, waiting patiently with your money. And when she gets there, if you have the money, she'll have the time. But don't be impressed, guys. Don't look at these girls and think, wow, she's everything. Because the truth is, she's pretty much nothing. She doesn't have a lot going for her, okay? Otherwise, she wouldn't be in the position that she's in. Now, I'm not saying that anyone can't go through hard times and they can't find themselves in that position. But what I am saying is, once you get in that position, how many girls truly change that position? The answer is very, very few. A few girls end up getting married they go to San Diego, they go to Las Vegas, they go to Los Angeles, and they marry a gringo, they marry a Mexican-American with papers, whatever the case may be. 
they have a better life, they have a family, they have a house, they run a business, okay? That happens to a few, but it doesn't happen to most of them. Most of them just keep working, time passes them by, they're just like that car. They looked really good, but then they go downhill in a hurry, okay? And all of a sudden, it's over for them. So, don't be impressed by their beauty, because that's only temporary. Don't be impressed by their confidence, because that's fake. And don't be impressed by the money that they make, because in reality, it's not that much money. It's not like they have investment properties or stocks, bonds, retirement pensions, 401ks. Guys, that's not the case. At the end of the day, they'd be lucky to have a small block house somewhere in Mexico. And truth be known, even if they get the damn house built, they probably can't even afford to pay the electricity bill, okay, every month. You're not dealing with the sharpest cat right here, okay? You're just not dealing with the sharpest tool in the box. That's what I was looking for. All right, guys, one more thing here. Let me sum this up. Smash that like and subscribe button. We're having a badass party at the Chicago Club. I'm going to be having this party Halloween 2022. If you're a new subscriber here, my name is Luke. I lived in Tijuana, Mexico for almost 17 years. I've been all over Zona Norte, which is the legal prostitution district of Mexico in Tijuana, Mexico. I talk about the bars, the beaches, the clubs, everything else. Now, guys, in the end of this video here, once again, this video has been a one-take Drake. I've been working like 100 hours a week up here in the oil fields, and I have not had time to make videos. I apologize for that, but don't miss the party this year at the Chicago Club Halloween weekend. It's going to be off the chain. These girls are going to be smoking hot. And remember, guys, no matter how bad I talk about these girls from Zona Norte, the truth is nine times out of ten, they're cheaper and they're way better than having a wife, okay? You're going to get treated better. The sex is going to be better, the stress is going to be less, and it's going to be a lot cheaper than having a wife. And that's kind of a funny thing because a lot of these guys, they show up and they want to be Captain save -a and save these girls. Guys, I've said it once and I've said it before, and a girl named Cozy in Denver, Colorado told me this one time, and it was so true. She's dancing at a club in Denver, Colorado, and she said, I don't want to be saved, and these girls don't want to be saved. And guys, that's exactly right. See, they think they have their independence, okay? And the funny thing is, you ask them, how come you don't get married? How come you don't shack up with a guy? You have chance after chance after chance after opportunity to leave the life of prostitution. So how come you don't take advantage? Guys, and the truth is they're going to tell you because they're simple-minded, simple-minded girls. They're going to say, I like my freedom. I like my independence. I don't want to be dependent on a guy. But if you really think about it, guys, the girls, the strippers, the prostitutes in Zona Norte, they're actually more dependent on men than any girl in the whole world. And not just one guy. They're dependent on one customer to eat one customer to raise their kid, one customer to pay their house payment, right? They're obligated and dependent on several, several, several men. Now, smash that like and subscribe button. Guys, let me give you a piece of financial advice here. I'm working hard. I'm snatching up rental properties right and left. That's why I'm putting in all this extra time because interest rates have gone up. So I'm trying to put as much down and pay as much cash, cash as I can. But let me tell you something that can help you guys. I don't care what you do, San Diego, California, you can be a car salesman, you can work in the oil fields. Let me explain something to you guys about compensate, compensation and your benefits package. It just bugs the shit out of me that every time you sit down and you ask somebody how much they pay, they want to shoot you a low ball number and say, oh, but we have benefits. Guys, benefits are bullshit benefits my ass you know what benefits me a big fat ass stack of cash in my pocket that's what benefits me I'll tell you what sweetheart why don't you give the money to me and you let me make up my mind what index funds to put it in what insurance i need to buy you give it to me and let me make up my mind what benefits me guys don't get all sucked into these benefits that shit benefits the company it benefits greed, and it benefits corporate America a hell of a lot more than it benefits you, okay? And if that wasn't the case, they wouldn't offer the shit. Guys, until next time.
Smash that like and subscribe button. Hang out with these beautiful girls at the Chicago Club and the Adelita Bar. Smash, dash, hit it, quit it, smile, take the picture, leave, guys. Remember, you're the winner here. You're the American citizen. You have the green money. You got the job. You're not the one flying to Tijuana, Mexico to sell your ass the next weekend. Until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road.